This video is not for the close-minded individuals, the ones who can't take anyone else's opinion except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately! So remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to remember to Nina's raw view in three, a two, a one. So tired of living in this swamp. So tired of kissing frogs. Oh, one day I'll find my Prince Charming. Oh, he'll find me and we'll run off into the sunset. Now, what was that song my mother used to sing to me as a small child? I think it was Just wait so while you were. No, no, no. It went Whistle so while you twerk. Whistle so while you twerk. No, that wasn't it. I think it was called Fairy Tales by Anita Baker. I'll let Anita do it. Are you hot too, Teddy? Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nina, Bonina, Banana, Fafana, Osama, Teddy Bear Brown. You like that? You like it when I touch that nipple? Girl, welcome back to my channel, guys. Hi, y'all know how we do it here, where we keep it cute, keep it mute, or you get the boot. Meaning, if you come here and you have some disagreements, that's fine. But just don't be ignorant with it, saying smart comments because you'll get blocked because moderators are watching your every move, sweetie. So we're doing a little early Valentine's look, mama. I may have another Valentine's look in store, but you know. Hope you guys like this and um, I hope you guys like this bear because this bear is going back to Kroger's. Yes, mama, with my Kroger's Plus card. Um, I just bought him for the prop. Um, he's a little, he's clean, ain't no makeup on him, good, 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 good. And, um, I just feel bad for the next person that buys this beer because, um, the things that me and this beer did, okay? <laughs> you know I always like the beers. <laughs> Beat it, bitch. And I also want to shout out to Patrick Starr for once again gifting me with the little PR that I was not expecting because I thought maybe he wasn't giving me anymore because... When I tagged him in my other post about his makeup, he paid it us. But here it goes. Ooh, ah. Uh, bitch, I swear, he be giving the most biggest packages. And I'm thinking, like, it's going to be a whole set in here. And it'll just be two items. <laughs> but yeah, this is his one-size-fit-all makeup. And this is a primer and some eye patches. And um, I put the primer on today. Feels good, my skin feels good. I mean, I'm looking good, you know. And I, as y'all know, I love his powders. I stay using his powder. Like, the powder just makes me look so cunty, honey. But yeah, so if you're somebody that's looking for a new primer, this is a Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. Instantly blurring, hydrating primer that minimizes pores, even out textures and controls shine, with gripping the makeup for an all day ultimate wear. And if you're like somebody who's big on ingredients, it's glycerin, hydrates, microfears, and witch hazel, and Nina Met Me. Mm -hmm. It brightens the skin tone. That's like $30, Canada $38. And the eye patches that I haven't used yet, but I will be using after all this makeup, um, is $25. Ingredients, tropical, calamansi, lemon juice, caffeine, hyaluronic, you know, to plump and smooth, so. 
yeah, a little quick shout out to that. Thank you so much, Patrick Starr. Look at me getting PR from one of the stars, but not the racist one. Oh. Thank you, Joey, for doing this week's intro. Appreciate you, boo. Um, yeah, no, let's, get to, let's get to some news, some comments, and some tips. Y'all know how we do here, mama. Um, if you're looking to skip through all this, I mean, good luck finding the timestamp. Um, so news, first off, let's rest in peace. Moment of silence to, I, I can't think of the latest name right now. I can't think of the lady's name, oh my God, but I'm gonna find a picture and I'm gonna post it. Rest in peace to her. And I know she's been in other roles, but I just know her for the iconic role in Scary Movie 3, <laughs> where she's just flapping on a clothesline and the storm is happening. Thank you for that moment, mama. Rest in peace to Larry King. He's been around forever. Mr. Burns in the flesh, mama. Girl, rest in peace to him. Rest in peace to Cicely Tyson. Diva, icon. Her, she lived to 96. The other actress I'm talking about, she lived to 94. Girl, they lived a good life though. You know, doing and, and they, they accomplished things. They almost made it to 100, but they made it to 2020. So, moment of silence. And to anybody out there that's lost a loved one or going through some situation, I love you. Okay. Other news. So for those of y'all that haven't heard, Joju Siwa has came out the closet, Mama, and congrats to her. Oh, oh. It's me, Jojo, and I'm out of the closet. I'm Jojo. I'm Jojo, and I'm out. Uh, girl, she has made a killing off of selling a big ass bowl she wears on her head. Hey everyone, it's Jen, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, today this is actually something they already knew. Something that she was already giving off butch energy teas. <laughs> but I didn't follow her like that. But congrats to her. She's had a lot of positive, you know, um, support. But then you get she has some negative support. You know, the the, the soccer moms were like. Oh no, my daughter's gonna stop watching your show now. And we're gonna burn all our toys and our bowls that we bought in your name. And it's like, anyway, I made a whole video of that. Make sure you check it out. Comments. I'm watching it later. For this is from the last episode, my last raw view. I'm watching it later, but I want to say that I love you, Nina. Looking good as always. I wish Tamisha was high on this episode and it was already a fact that Kamora Hall would be the first one out. At least she will have time to put on the makeup for the reunion episode. If she starts right now, oh, <laughs> messy. Now she has time to do makeup from now to, to um, the reunion. Shut up, I can't, I hate y'all. Jambalaya J, look, I'm gonna sleep with you. Like, please let me 10 years old. <sighs> you, list, you literally listed a bunch of Nicole Ray songs when I asked about, when I mentioned Nicole Ray, the last Raw View. You better know my girl. Nina, can you surprise us with your version of RuPaul's season one busted look, please? <laughs> they really, somebody wants me to do that Project Runway look that she did for Raw View. Y'all know I will. Like, you know, like, remember when I did the whole Mayhem red look from Amazon? Y'all know I'm petty. <laughs> now for a little grinder moment. You know, to each his own, everybody has their own thing that they're into, but some things are just a little, just like, what? His headliner says, Masculine Foot Lover, 26. Sweetie, it's cool that you like feet, but how are feet masculine? They're straight up looking for a masculine thug, straight or DL guy who like getting them toes sniffed, rubbed, and sucked. Mmm, the ganga. Now, you know, I don't mind a little foot, but like, to that extreme, like, what is a masculine foot? Like, is the foot watching BET? Is the foot playing sports? Does it have veins? Is the foot a thug? Is the foot listening, listening to Tupac? What? <laughs> that has been a grinder moment. 
PlayStation news. Hey, baby. PS5. If you are on PlayStation and you have the PSN now, I think next month, February, next month, lineup for free games is Control Ultimate Edition for PS5, Tomb, no, no, sorry, not Tomb Raider, Concrete Genie, and Destruction All Stars. So, just shouting out my gamers out there. Other news. So Candy Muse, I haven't watched the episode, but people have been telling me that the untuck is crazy. The untuck is messy. I'm assuming Candy got into some drama and the girls are now seeing how Candy really is and they are like in their attack mode. But does it really cause for y'all to be... So she left this post that says on Twitter, my mother seriously just called me to tell me fans have found her Instagram and are messaging her nasty shit. Y'all are effing disgusting. Goodbye. You know, I'm not even gonna say, please stop, guys, because it's never gonna stop. No matter how many years we go to Drag Race and be like, bullying is not right, it's just a show, it's produced. Girl, the girls are all cool. People still do dumb stuff like this. Messaging somebody's mom what is wrong with y'all people? This is why I don't want to do All-Stars. Like, I don't want to attract any more crazy people. I really don't. Ridiculous. And I forgot to further add on, because I just because this happened after I recorded, but I see that WoW, Word of Wonder, um, posted this little post about, leave our queens alone. alone. Bullying is not accepting. That at all. Trolls. But it's like, that's nice. But what took y'all so long to finally stand up and say something? And let's be honest, like, what Candy did in Untucked, I mean, was a little too much, but it doesn't call for anybody harassing her or her mother. But there are queens that have done far less than that and have been harassed and bullied for years. Queens that have wanted to commit suicide because of it. Queens who have quit drag because of it. And y'all couldn't care less, especially black queens. And it's like, why is Candy the token one that y'all are like, let's finally stand up and say something like... It's a, I don't know. Like, it just seems kind of like timed and planned for me, this whole woke thing. But kudos, better late than never. What do you guys think about it? Once again, thank you for all your tips, everyone. If you'd like to tip me, my cash app and Venmo will be in the description, but it's PRD and PayPal link. But here we go. Because thank you so much. Some tips are from Raw View, some are from gaming, some are from watching Drag Race UK on my Twitch. That was an interesting episode because Astina taught all that junk about she gonna turn the party in the lip sync and Tia sent her home. Spoiler alert. After I've already said it. Anyway. <laughs> Tips. Abby Kuma, thank you so much. Thank you, Ivan Majerez. Thank you, Andrew Michelson, for that good tip. Oh, and I, girl, y'all, thank y'all for the good tips. Yolanda Jerningen. Thank you, Jonah Hogan. Thank you, Alexander Clayton. Thank you, Amani Murph. Amani Murph. Amani. Thank you, Genesis J. Chase. Thank you, Alexo. Thank you, Ronaldo. Wait, no, that's me paying you. F you. Thank you, Santa. Thank you, Tanner. Mm -hmm. I had to threaten him for that tip. Thank you, Tanner. <laughs> thank you, Alexandra Jane Kamel. Thank you so much. Thank you, Abby Q. Mudd. Aw, thank you, The Groans. Thank you, Aaron Johnson. Thank you, Louis Gonzalez. Thank you, Christian Geraldo. Thank you, aw, Theophilus. Not Theophilus. Collins. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Joy Mela Hadra. Aw, thank you for your comments as well. Thank you, Dimitri Belazea. Thank you, Marcos Antonio. Thank you, Donnie Cervantes. Thank you, JC. Oh, JC. Thank you for always being around and just there all the time supporting me. Thank you, Nicholas D. Benedetto Betabitas. Thank you, John Lucchetti. Thank you, Rain, for the, oh, help me get the wrong, the, the wrong rate. Thank you so much. Thank you, Isaiah, Laurie, Bonkus. Girl, how, do you not, how are you a fan of mine and don't know what Bonkus mean? Bonkus means booty, girl. Oh, Allison, thank you for, thank you so much. Thank you, Neil Cooch. Coochie? Thank you, Carlos Alva. Thank you, Mikhail Daniel. Thank you, Tracy S. Thank you, Robert Ean. Thank you, Macklin Warren Todd. 
Thank you, Juan Carlos. Thank you, Max Spencer. Thank you, William Hamilton. Thank you, Eric Rock. Thank you, Christina Ortega. Thank you, Paul Ho. Thank you, Joanna Chow. Appreciate you. And I just want to do one more little quick thing. I want to give a... I want y'all to go support this channel, Mark Zapanta, for those of my makeup and people who are into skincare and beauty. So what I do then is I grab a sponge and then grab the sponge and disperse the product. So help support him. Help his channel grow. He's really a sweet person. He's in the UK and beautiful, long hair, and, you know, he does a good job. He has better quality of me, bitch. You won't see an ironing board in the background. <laughs> so check out his channel. Love you, Mark. Now let's get to this, because you know it's late, and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna be munching and crunching and watching and botching. Bitch, I am so mad. My mom was watching Drag Race. You know, I'm watching it on Xfinity. I, I used to watch it on my... <sighs> PS4 Pro. But she been watching it, but she didn't finish it. I'm clicking on it so I can like, you know, set it up. I didn't, she didn't, she left it off on the part where the person goes home. So I'm seeing who goes home already. That damn Claudia. This is going to be the bag ball episode. They're gonna have about 40 looks and I'm already mad. So here we go. Sucks because I know every single girl is now looking at me as a bottom bitch. Something tells me they've been looking at you as a bottom bitch. Random, 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 but who the hell sent me these? Can't even pronounce it. Sin Sursa Brow Engineer. Like, my P.O. Box, I just had like a package of this and it's like, I don't know, it's like a Lexus Stone product. Who sent me these? <laughs> like, thank you, but like, girl, I can't, what am I gonna do with these ashy eyebrow things, girl? They're, they're too light for me. <laughs> But thank you. I'm like, girl. So, I'm sorry it wasn't your taste of the week. <laughs> girl, Candy really does not like Elliot with two R's. Girl. It is not to listen to peasants and what they have to say about me. I was really... Oh, not a peasant. And she is my biggest competition here right now. No, no, because... no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. The chicanery, the chicanery. But you know what, though? I am, I understand both, but I'm with, okay, so, okay, I, I'm with both, but I still have something to say about both. Okay, Candy. For her, she may feel that that's her competition. Cool. But at the same time, I'm with Tamisha. I hate when girls do this. It's like, in a way, it is kind of, it is kind of a read to the other girls, like, well, you're nobody. That's how I feel when people are like, so who da 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 and like and like nobody says my name. It's like don't like what y'all look at me and just like not a threat at all, you know. So it's like I get it. It's like girl, uh, no, 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 We're, like no. But at the same time, and this is what I kind of was fearing about Tamisha, and I already knew she's come off a little entitled a little bit. We're like, bitch, I'm to be she in mind. You better know me. You better, you better bow down to me, bitch. Yeah, you know, that's what I get, and like, that's what I don't like. And it's like, girl, everybody ain't scared of you. <laughs> like you're talented, but everybody ain't scared of you. So I get both. What do you guys think? With this twisted busted wig on your head, kapow. We <laughs> Not the twisted busted wig, girl. The yeah, I can already tell the untuck is gonna be messy. <laughs> Guess what? I'm throwing a birthday party to celebrate. Girl, what in the Black Elvis Presley suit? No, I'll resist is the first. If Shaquille O'Neal don't get his ass out of that goddamn Baby Zara's outfit, I freaking hate, hate, hate this challenge with the passion of the Christ. And I didn't want to have to relive it again. <laughs> I blame Eureka for this for her goddamn baby look she did on that challenge on um, whatever season it was. And they were like doing that Jerry Springer show. I, you know, like, like when I watch Drag Race, I'm like, they really do make us look really stupid for a few dollars <laughs> for, for in front of America, bitch, I can't. I hate this. Like I appreciated the UK little limbo challenge. This is just creepy. If I seen these babies, girl, I would abort them. 
Now, queens, for this week's maxi challenge, we're throwing a ball. So, Lala Ree won the baby challenge, and she won a $2,500 gift card for Fierce Queens. And nobody, I never heard of it, but yes, she won that, so congrats to her. And they have to do the ball, the bitch, the bitch bag ball. This is the episode that I would have went home on. Sewing? No, ma'am. <laughs> Bitch, I would have just stayed with a bunch of Walmart bags, because y'all know I live in Walmart, together and hope for the best. And Simone is already saying that she can't sew. She's worried. Y'all know nothing new. Every season, some girls can't sew. But she, I'm sure y'all won't get, up, get down her throat, because y'all like her. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. If you need any um, assistance with the sewing machine, well, I'd be happy I, to I need Come on. Utica to come in, come in to save the day and offering help for sewing. Like we know it's a competition, but it's always nice when the girls can help out. So that's sweet of her. I still don't know what the hell she's doing, but I'm just acting like, I'm, yeah, girl, thank you. Just finish this for me. And just, <laughs> exactly. It's like, they're showing you, but you're like, okay, I got it. And you walk away, you're like, I don't got this, but help me. Just do the whole thing. Like, girl, I'll pay you. So she's your drag mama. Yes. But I didn't. Not to mention Iman is allegedly Lala Ree's mom, but she sure ain't helping herself. <laughs> Lord, bitch, not bitch. You know you're not a bitch, Lord. Lord, girl. <sighs> not, Lord, you know you're not a bitch. Lord, girl. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm guilty of that where I've like, been like saying something but put in Lord and like, I'm like, oh no, I don't mean like that. So I can't. <laughs> Category Claude. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's the bother. Pose is saying, we're not worried. The only thing I worry about with someone like you is how deep your saboteur might be. You know, because. Oh, God, here he goes with that saboteur bull stuff again. Here he go in that Emmy. Loud. I love it. <laughs> What the hell I just said, but this thing is over here. <laughs> exactly. What did I say? Group all high again. <laughs> all right, Joey J and La La Ree. Hi there. I just noticed he's not walking the table to table. Girl, Group all laser today. He said, "Honey, y'all come to me." Oh, dad, there's still a few things that I need to like do. Yeah. Candy has some interesting nipples. Yeah. Interesting. It's time for beauty and looks again. Oh, don't ever try me on Instagram again because I will put you on blast. You hootie and the blowfish looking bitch. Got my ice cream gloss looking gorgeous. Girl, that's the Buddha hoe. Anyway, that's been Beauty and Looks with Nina, Bonina Brown. Okay, this look is kind of Barbie, but kind of like, I feel like Rue is a little, I don't know, like it's, was it too young for her? I don't know. I don't know. I am glad she's doing a different silhouette though. Did something different, but I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm crazy over it. And you know, this goddamn Pennywise wig sitting back here. <laughs> it should've done a high ponytail with this bitch. Yes, ma'am. I'm only gonna rent it because she did something different. And let's welcome back the fabulous Nicole Byer. Not Nicole back again. Girl, this wig. Did nobody in the back say, girl, this is a wig? Like, no, like, this is a wig. <laughs> Child. And Carson here, too. I'm like, girl, I thought Carson didn't quit the show. First up, Denali giving you airbags. What a. First category is mixed bag, whatever that means. And the first up is Denali, and I like this. Very crash dummy tees, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually buy this. Joey J 
day. I don't get it. And then the bra part, whatever that is, is so far underneath her painted on airbrush breast bodysuit thing. And it's, I don't know, it's like she's going for like Silent Hill nurse meets Poison Ivy. Yeah. I, which I don't even know how to answer this question about Renner. I, I don't know. <laughs> she's wearing Shea Coulee's bodysuit that Shea wore with a little afro. That y'all swear was her skin color. <laughs> Apparently, her and Joey J are the same skin color. <laughs> what a large sack. <laughs> I am. La La Reese look. I don't like it. It just really just looks like it's a dress that they just glued pieces of skeleton to, but like no real concept to it. And then the bottom part just looks like what? I don't, yeah, no. Sorry. <laughs>giving you gift bag. Ooh, girl, she got receipts. <laughs> Elliot with two R's. No, I don't like this. <laughs> so far, then Ellie's like the only one that I kind of like so far. Like, just, no. I'm not gonna buy her a minute. Tamisha Iman, that old bag. Tamisha Boniva. Kim Tamisha is playing off of like being an old bag, old lady. I mean, it's cute, I guess, but I don't know. Maybe I, I just don't really get this concept. I'm like, where are the bags, really? I, I, I mean, I, uh. <laughs> giving you fun bags. Oh, I didn't know old Michelle came in black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, even though I don't see any bags, but I get it. Fun bag, breath, big old titties. She's giving Aunt black and Nicole Smith tees. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy it. I still don't think it meets the assignment, but I'm not going to buy it. King bag. What a knockout! I'm serving Ginger, Layla Ali. Olivia doing being a punching bag, and this is like Simone's runway from the other episode. I don't like the fit on her. It just makes her look kind of, I don't know, it doesn't really do nothing for her body shape. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I'm ready for the next category. Thick body bag. Ooh, that is one long intestine. <laughs> Got Mick is giving you body bag. The intestines is gross. Very, very dragula. But, um, I, 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 it's an outfit. So, but I kind of almost wish that it would have just been like a whole prosthetic where it would look like more like a real body being bust open. Cause like it's just like a disconnect from this to the face. The idea is cool, but it could have been pulled off better. But I'll rent it. Bag pipes. Is that a pipe in your kill door? You just happy to see me. <laughs> I'm giving a. Okay, I'm buying Rose's look. Bag pipe. Okay, yeah. Take me. Tina Burner. Brown bag in it. Oh, so that's who was going through my trash last night. Tina Turner's going like a brown bag look. I'm not a, uh, I'm saving a lot of money tonight. I'm not really buying or anything. Bag of tricks. Ooh, bitch, I'm pulling out a wooden stick out of. Candy Muse look, it's cute. Kind of like a flight stewardess, magician kind of thing. It's cute though, and I didn't know, I, whatever she pulled out, I didn't know it was that long. I'm like, girl, is it my penis? Um, but I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rent this. Dookie bag. What a dog. I am a beautiful French poodle. Now that RuPaul said dookie bag. <laughs> I'm like, not dookie bag. Come on, Kalopsy. <laughs> um, I am going to, uh, I like where the hair is going. Um, it's like, for some reason I'm thinking about Sharon Needles Poodle look with the poodle long fur boots, but uh, I'm gonna look at it. Oh. <laughs> A Pruella DeVille inspired editor in chief. Okay, so next up is Money Bags. Oh my God, this runway is so long. 
Denali giving you a different spin on Cruella Davil. Um, and it's a cute look. It's a cute look. I'm gonna rent this one. I spy with my working eye. <laughs> I'm giving you Annie Lennox meets El. Joey J's back to his hair again. Um, I don't really get the concept of this look. I mean, I guess it's a cute look, but I don't get it. But I rent it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just get to the just get to the final runway. Read, okay. ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Clean. <laughs> I love a female. Lola Reed's look is cute. She went bald and giving you Miss Clean. My <laughs> Michelle said Mrs. Clean. Um, it's a cute look. You know, it's that kind of breast cancer awareness, the pink heels and the pink little purse and the bald head, so it's cute. With two T's. Representing the accounting firm of Bottoms and Bottoms. <laughs> I this look on Elliot, it makes her, I don't know, the shape is really making her look more manly in the shape. Heels are cute, but it's like, wasn't it good? Colonel Fried? Colonel Sanders fried chicken with a little white shirt and a black little tie like that. <laughs> um, uh, it's okay. And why do they might have the same clutch? Like the same, I mean, maybe they gave them those clutches. Like they're all the same, but. To me, she Green means money. So I'm walking down the runway representing straight ATL. To me, she I'm just not excited about any of this. <laughs> it's, it's a look. I'll look at it through the window. It's not bad. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Patty LaPelle. <laughs> <laughs> you are stupid! Simone's look, I'm gonna rent it, but I just wish she would have some more cinch thin or more hips or something. Cause it goes kind of straight down for me. But I do like the contrast of the red hair and this pink. Petho-bismol tees. Um, but I'll rent it. She's keep debating. Can anybody say coffee break? I'm showing the judge it. She said that she's a powerhouse, ex powerhouse executive. I'm, I'm just getting like flight attendant. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not a bad look. It's cute. I hate this this, this challenge. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. You boss, bitch, boss. I'm of Generation Z. Um, um. That makes it look, it's, it's, it's cute, I'm gonna rent it. It reminds me of um, Rose's look when they had to do like, whatever that was, and she had the tool coming from her suit. But this is like a better material. I was saying how I wish Rose would have had a diff different material. This is more, I, I like this better than Rose's outfit, but it's cute. Rose, she means business, big business. <laughs> Baby, I'm giving you 80s. Rose's look is cute. I mean, it's a cute look. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna buy this look. I like the outfit, like, I like the wig. Um, she's kind of, the jawline, but you know, she can't help her jawline. Um, but she kind of give me like Goldie Hine a little bit, and I love Lucy tees, but I'm gonna buy it. Tita Turner. Sparkle, Tina, sparkle. I'm long in the tooth today. Tita Turner, it's a nice look. I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy the look because it's well done. Bankrolls. Bam, bitch. I'm a CEO. Candy Muse look. Eh. That's a look. I do like the headpiece. You know, the money. Um. Yeah. Utica. Look at them knockers. <laughs> this outfit is inspired by. I don't know why Utica right here is looking like Sasha Galore to me. <laughs> But I don't really get the look, so. Oh, God, I hate all this. Hey there, Sugar Skull. I am serving you a fashionable twist. Okay, so, finally the final runway, and this is when the outfit is made out of bags. And Denali, look, okay. It's like, my ignorant mind, I'm like, I don't see a bag, but she made it out of bags. So for that reason alone, making it out of bags, the whole theme of it, I'm gonna buy it. Wheel of fortune. Pin wheel of fortune. <laughs> I'm giving- Now Joey, we know he said put a wig on. Put a better one. 
<laughs> um, the look, I see, ooh, I, I see the strings hanging at the bottom, everything, bitch. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna buy or rent this one. B. She got this at Saks. <laughs> not like I recap this look. This reminds me of a look I did a long time ago where I had like, this pink mohawk afro that was going back and I had on like a tutu skirt, very androgynous look and like these X's on my titties and, but I thought she was going to keep this. Y yeah, this is horrible. This is horrible. And she knows it. It's horrible. <laughs> Elliot, bring two teeth. Pink cow sick. You bring cannot even back. clock. For some weird reason, it seems like all of Ellie's look, Elliot's look kind of looked similar. That whole like asymmetrical boxy shoulder kind of thing. But, it's still a well done outfit. I don't care for the wig. But I'm still gonna go ahead and buy the outfit because she made it out of like bean bag, so good job. Tamisha Mon. It's like Rosie the Robot, but slutty. Welcome down the runway. I'm Tamisha Iman. No. No, I'm sorry. This is no no! I <sighs> it, it is five hundred dollars worth of dime bag. Simone! Ahoy! It's a sunny day in California, and bitch, I'm going to the beach. Simone's look, um, it could, be, it could have been designed, you know, structured better. But I'm, surprisingly, I'm going to buy this, and I think I'm going to buy this because the skin is looking like pure milk chocolate coming out of this runway. For real, like, it, and I'm going to buy it because just the skin alone. Those are the tiniest handcuffs I've ever seen. <laughs> Olivia's look is cute. I'm actually gonna buy it. Yeah, it's just a corset kind of thing, but like this makes it work together. The shoulders, the arms. I'm gonna buy this look. She is a strapping young queen. I'm giving you very Joan Jett. I feel like got this look is kind of cheating because it's really nothing at all. But that's the clever part of it because it's still something. So, I'm actually going to... I'm going to rent this look. I'm going to rent it. Futuristic fembot fatale look. I look like an alien... Come on for the spin. Rose has brought it tonight. I'm buying this. I'm buying this. She's brought it tonight. She has. All right, that's it. You're suspended. <laughs> Tina's back to these damn wigs like this. I don't like the gold on her top lip, make it look like a mustache or something, I don't know, but, but the outfit, you know, she made it, I'm gonna rent the outfit, but I don't, not big on it, but I'll, but I'll rent it. Bean bag. Ew. Ew. Ooh, what does she have in her trapper keeper? Mmm, trapper keep her. <laughs> I don't know what I feel about this hair on a candy. Like, I would appreciate this hair probably on Simone or something. But, with that being said, I'm gonna buy the look. I like it, it's cute. In a way, it looks like Candy's doing blackface. <laughs> I can't explain it. I know she said she's Afro-Latina, but I'm like, uh, a little darker, I don't know. Syracuse, Schenectady, Utica. Ooh. What? I'm gonna rent this look from Utica. Um, I don't like the bottom part of the skirt. And I wish that she wouldn't have had on these white leggings, a different color. Or maybe just no leggings at all. Um, different shoe. But I'm gonna rent it though. She made it out of sleeping bags, so that's for that alone, I'm gonna rent it. Your makeup sometimes come across a little not blended enough. So I'm gonna recommend to you. Oh. <laughs> Cause I don't think I'm like the makeup. Like, and you you know, you and, and being that she already has this whole thing about she's to me, she Iman, the legend, the da 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 da, the passion queen. But normally in pageants, people do do their makeup for them, so. I'm like, yeah, oh, girl. <laughs> oh. Got Mick. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's show. Got Mick won the overall ball. Hmm. I like, for some reason, I like Rose's looks better. Maybe I'm just lame, and, and I'm at peace with that. Um, but okay, congratulations to um, Got Mick. Joey J. I'm sorry, my dear, but you are up for elimination. So Joey J and Lala Ri are in the bottom two. Let's see what they're gonna lip sync to, honey. Yeah. 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 
Not fancy by A Azalea. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't care for this song like that. But okay. Okay. And the girls are already going in for Lala Ree. First things first, I'm not really, really. Girl, Lala Ree came right into the words. Like bitch, like perfect timing went right into the words. She already won. Why Joey look crazy? <laughs> Maybe it's the makeup. I'm like, he looks uncomfortable or something. I don't know. I'm mad at this outfit. Lala Ree looking like a whole ass black man. <laughs> she looking like Shaquille O'Neal, bitch. But she's killing it, though. She's doing a good job. Girl, not a black girl gonna beat the white girl doing Iggy Azalea. Girl. <laughs> not putting the money in. Putting the tips in the bag. That was thick, then. Lala Ree. Shantae, you stay. Lala Ree won. I mean, girl, bitch, she was half naked, girl. She could move around freely. But she, she killed it. <laughs> Joey looks uncomfortable. That was a fun lip sync. That was, it was a fun lip sync. It really was. I'm a gay ass bitch. I'm Joey J. <laughs> okay. Well, poor Joey. Oh, Joey, Joey, Joey. Well, you're going to be a hit on Grinder. So, I mean, let's look. It's, there's some good to come from it. Okay, I know I need to watch Untucked, but girl, on my phone, give me the die probably. So, um,. I'm gonna watch it when I come, if, if I come back, I might be looking a whole mess because I'm gonna start taking stuff off while I'm watching it. But I'm gonna see all the drama that y'all been talking about, because girl, here we go. But if I don't come back, or whatever the case is, thank you guys for being here. Tell me what you think below, like how this episode went, do you guys agree with how it went? And as always, remember to stay beat, to stay beautiful, most importantly, Stay blessed. Until next time, Kimacho or Kamochi. Happy Valentine's. Hey, baby. Like I said, if you don't have star quality, baby. get the f out of here. Girl, star quality. I've been around. Okay, so yeah, I watched Untucks and I'm gonna go ahead and say it. That's, that was one of the best Untucks ever in life. <laughs> okay, it still doesn't warrant anybody going to Candy and attacking her and her mom. But bitch, when I tell you, we even, we even, this is what we want secretly on reality TV and Candy has delivered it. Honestly, Tamisha did come in here kind of starting like, I don't like you. It's like, okay. But did it have to blow up to the proportions that Candy took it? No. But I do like how Candy's like, you may be a legend, but I'm not backing down. And I like how Tamisha's like, you may be a pit bull, but I'm not backing down, so. This was a good untucked. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Bye. I'm so white and confused. Where is the manager? Where is Fubu?